Hello everyone. Let's talk about bundles. My name is Michael Leggett. I'm the creator of Simplify Gmail. It's a browser extension that uh, makes, makes Gmail a lot better. And one of the things it does is it adds bundles uh, to Gmail. Bundles is uh, something that Google Inbox uh, product that you may or may not be familiar with um, brought to the world a long time ago. Um, I was once upon a time the design lead for Gmail and co-founder of Google Inbox, uh, so it's a feature very near and dear to my heart. And when Google Inbox got shut down, it's definitely one of the things I wanted to bring back uh, when I started Simplify Gmail back in 2019. So bundles, a good way to think about bundles, there's two quick ways to kind of think about it. One is the same way that conversation view in Gmail lets you bring in disparate messages that would otherwise be spread across your inbox and show them all in one um, conversation, all in one view, bundles do the same thing. Um, they let me um, open up and see messages that would otherwise be. So if I turn off Simplify here for a second, you can see there's a, an email with YouTube there and another one there, and then some more way down here at the bottom of my inbox. So with, with Gmail, those are right next to each other uh, with bundles turned on. And if I turn off bundles, those would also be spread across. Ugh, that's a lot of a lot of stuff in my inbox. So bundles make my inbox a little bit easier to digest. Um, I can take action on things. Um, I can just archive all of these. Or if I want to open them up, I can open them up. And Simplify actually replaces next previous. So it will go to the next message in the bundle. See, that's the, the fifth message in my inbox, and then the 32nd message, and so forth. So I can look at the messages as I saw them right here in this list um, using next previous, and I can also use my keyboard shortcuts, uh, which uh, Simplify also <laughs> has to re-implement to make it work in the order that you see here on the screen. So I'll go ahead and archive those. I'm done with those. Um, but I still have a lot of stuff in my in uh, in my inbox, <coughs> and it'd be great to um, have to kind of clean some of this up too. So let's talk about how to create a bundle. Um, how do you make these? If you're already familiar with filters, you can skip a bit. Um, but I'm going to talk about how to create filters, and there's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, one is you could um, open a message, any message and then click under here and say filter messages like these. And Gmail actually will be pretty smart. It'll look for different ways. It'll say, is this a, a newsletter or a mailing list? And it'll find ways to do that. If not, it'll just look for things that are maybe from a certain address. Um, so you can build on this. You can further filter. Um, so let's say, you know, I want to look for things that also mention lunch. Um, this person's always, uh, and I can click search and eventually get that to the way I want it. Uh, and then I can create a filter based on that. I'm not going to create a filter for this one, um, but you know one that I do see a lot of is messages down here um, that have calendar invitations. And gosh, I'd love to to filter all of my calendar invitations. Well, there's some of my calendar invitations. They're uh, from a certain organization, but actually I'm going to do a different way. Another way is to use one of Simplify's provided uh, save searches, or any search really. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the one for calendar. Uh, this is a great search for all the different um, types of calendar invites. So it gets those messages as well as some others. And I can click that advanced search again, and it's filled it in. Uh, usually it fills it in, sometimes not. But uh, usually a good way to do it is just to put it all under has. Whatever's here, you can put under has the words, um, has attachment and his attachment of a calendar type. I'm going to create a filter for that. And then I'm going to do a few things on this screen. So when a message is uh, a match for my search criteria, well, number one, I want to create a label. I want to apply a label. I'm going to go ahead and create a new label. I'll call it calendar. Um, I want to, um, let's see, sometimes I might categorize it, but in this case, uh, I'm just going to also, I guess you could categorize it, make sure it goes to primary um, and not into one of the others. So you can see some of these are going into forums or other things, um, some of the Gmail's categories. But the main thing is to apply a label, um, and then you might also want to go ahead and apply it to the matching conversations. Uh, now the trick is to just wait. It's kind of annoying. Gmail takes a little while to do this. 
it's doing stuff in the background. There's no visibility of it doing stuff, but eventually it will finish. Um, and if you don't wait and you try to leave the view, Gmail might jump around on you. Um, so usually I get tired of waiting and then I just let Gmail jump around on me, honestly. Uh, so let's leave the view and, oops, see it jumped. It jumped and now the category has been created. You can see calendar is on all of these items and forums isn't on those few. So if I go back to my inbox, now all of those are under a single line item called calendar. And if I want to spruce those up a little bit more, I could also give calendar label, I could give it a color. Maybe I want to make that nice teal color. And simplify will detect that color and apply it to the bundle. So I love using bundles for a little bit on the history actually of, of bundles. Bundles were kind of the, um, the opposite uh, approach to uh, information overload or kind of people's inboxes being too full of stuff uh, than Priority Inbox. So Priority Inbox was an effort back in 2008, 2009 to, and it's still in Gmail today, to basically rank all of your mail. Um, spam is actually a ranking problem. They try to find the, the worst of the worst, the stuff that we don't even think is really meant for you. Um, Priority Inbox was trying to find the best, find the best 10, 20% of your email, market is important um, and actually even give you that's why it's part of the the naming behind this priority inbox this is trying to put the important email at the top and there's also important first is another so that was all born out of priority inbox I think the challenge with that is if it doesn't get it right either if you've got thousands and thousands of you know emails coming in a day you don't really care if it gets it right any kind of help is, is gonna help um, but anybody else the rest of us <laughs> lay people we, you know, as soon as it misses something that is important and it doesn't go to that top inbox um, and you miss that email, it's really a, a big problem. So what the categories were um, and bundles uh, later were a way to, instead of trying to rank the top 20% of your email, let us bucket the bottom 80%. Let's take all the promotional email and put that in a single bucket. Um, and so that's what these categories under uh, that Gmail has promotions, um, take all the mailing lists and put that under one, call it forums, take all the social notifications from Twitter and Facebook and, uh, you know, threads now and all these others, put those in one bucket. Um, updates is kind of a junk drawer. So Google inbox used to have another one for, for trips or travel. Um, they had another one for purchases and orders. Um, they had one, I think that was hidden for reservations. This is kind of like restaurant reservations. One for finance, so any kind of uh, statements or financial statements or um, other things like that or bills. Um, so there's a couple other categories, and those got all lumped into updates. And I think that was really just for space, honestly. So this is another account. You might be familiar with this. This is Gmail's default inbox, and they have up to five tabs. The thing I don't like about these is I feel like it's, five different inboxes I have to check. Um, and updates is, again, kind of that junk drawer. There's so many things that go under updates, um, which is nice. I guess I don't have more inboxes to check. Um, but with bundles, I basically turn off the default uh, tabs, and I use these instead. And so under any one of these, you can come in here and you can say, I want to bundle on this. I don't personally bundle on updates, but I definitely bundle on social. I definitely bundle on promotions. And I bundle pretty much all my labels. So that is how to, that's a little bit of the history. That's how to create um, a, a filter and apply a label. Um, you can do that from a message. You can do that from any search. You could use one of the save searches. Um, the last bit I'll say is, gosh, I like these travel. I wish my messages, maybe I get a lot of travel emails. How might I actually bundle on travel? because I don't have that here as an actual bundle that can be turned on. Uh, if I click under here, there's no bundle options. And so what you can do is you can actually create a filter on this search as well. I don't have any travel email in this account, but we'll, we'll use this as an example. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the show filter button. Um, and I think that if, well, let's try, eh, let's, I, I think that if there was a match, it would show up, but again, it didn't show up. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the has the words section. And because a category is applied um, 
early enough in Gmail's kind of process of processing email, you can actually filter on a category. You can't filter on a label because labels are applied with filters, but you can filter on a category. So I'm going to say create a filter. I'm going to say apply the label. And now here I'm going to need to create a new label. And Gmail is kind of nasty here. I can't use trips. They're going to say that's a reserved one. And unfortunately I can't say uh, travel. Uh, that's also a reserved system label if they ever resurrect these things. Um, so let's say voyages. Um, so I'll create voyages. Um, I will categorize it as primary. Otherwise it's just going to go under the updates category. And I'll go ahead and apply it to anything. I'll click create filter. And again, you kind of wait or you leave the view and then it jumps back. If I leave this view, it's going to jump back to this search. Um, yep, there it goes. And I don't know how to prevent that, but now it says the filter has been created. And so now as email comes in and it's categorized by Gmail as travel, um, it's going to show up under our new label voyages. And so that'll bundle in my inbox. And now because it's a full label, I can put messages into that label. I can take them out of that label. That's the downside of these old searches that, that still work. Gmail's still categorizing things under these things. <coughs> um, but they are not, um, they're not editable. I can't put things into them. I can't take things out of them. They're just these searches to this uh, processing that's still happening in the background. It is totally invisible. Um, so if I go to my personal account, it's a bit of a, a mess, this account. But you can see um, I've got the finances uh, category resurrected. Um, I've got promotions here. Orders is what I use for all my purchases. Um, that calendar one that we talked about earlier. Um, so uh, school is one I use for all the incoming email uh, from um, my, my kids' uh, various schools. Um, I use them for mailing lists. Uh, so I use them for all kinds of things, for kind of that batch processing, batch reading. Um, one last thing, so actually, I guess two last things. Um, so under Simplify, in the preferences, there are some things you can do. So you can, we already saw you can apply the color. If you don't like all that color, you can turn that off. Um, you can elect to not, instead of expanding in line, you can elect to actually just go ahead and open the bundle. So this will do a search. And what's what's nice about that, I mean, it's it's actually, I think it's it's worse in most ways. But one way it's good is, I can only bundle what I can see. So if your inbox has thousands of messages in it, this is not going to show you every single message. It's only going to show you the messages with that label on the current page. Um, so everything is being done, you know, kind of locally and client side. And so uh, when you click on it, when you turn that off uh, to expand it, it'll actually do a search. Now, this works great for labels that are applied with filters, um, but if you're just applying a label without a filter, if you're manually applying it. Um, labels are tricky. They show up as being on a conversation, but they're actually on the messages uh, inside that. And I've, I've got a whole video that describes this. I'll link to it in the description. Um, uh, it's So I think it's a good default experience to expand those in line. Um, but even with them expanded, I should move that down here, um, you can still click view all. So you can still get to that full view. And there's also keyboard shortcuts for all these things. So um, I can click O and it will open up the full bundle. Um, so and then uh, to get around I can I can both hit enter to expand and enter to collapse. You can also use the arrow key. So up down to move around, right arrow to expand, and then I can actually hit left arrow anywhere in this bundle and it'll collapse it. Um, you can hit left arrow again, and it'll actually put focus over in the nav, right arrow to go back into the list. So there's some really cool keyboard shortcuts in, in Simplify. Um, you can also elect to not bundle certain things. You can elect to not bundle uh, starred messages, so that's on by default, and that's a great way. So here's a, a, a set of bundle of um, workspace updates, and I thought this one was really important, so I, I started or I pinned it. And so it will live outside that bundle, and I'll be able to kind of see that. Um, if I want to, to go back in the bundle, I just unstar it, goes right back in, star it, comes right back out. Um, so 
that's a nice way to kind of easily um, not have everything be bundled and kind of choose on a message by message basis but you can turn that off and they'll all just stay in um, also the default is I don't bundle loan conversations so if there's only one conversation with a label I'm not going to bundle it and just let you see the conversation um, but some people want to turn that off and they also want to see bundled even when it's a single conversation um, you can see everything that you're choosing not to bundle here as a comma separated list um, but I find it even easier to actually go under um, let's see where were we uh, and you can choose not to bundle something by just clicking on this menu either on the label or on the category as we saw earlier um, and you can turn bundling on and off there you can also do it right here um, so you can just say do not bundle this label uh, and that'll turn it off instantly and add it to the list um, and then finally kind of a related setting is bringing back the Google inbox icons for archive and starring so um, pinning um, and uh, instead of archive check so that's bundles in a nutshell uh, I think we covered just about everything um, I know this has turned into a long video, but hopefully it was helpful in how to kind of get the most out of bundles. Um, and, you know, there's still more to come. I'm going to keep making these things better. Uh, I think there's a lot that can, um, a lot more I can do, and I've got a lot of ideas uh, for things like, you know, scheduled delivery uh, or snoozing an entire bundle. Um, there's all kinds of other things I can do. Um, so thanks for uh, watching. I hope that uh, this was helpful and um, to be continued.